I have another math worksheet that is addition. So addition means you're adding numbers together. And as you can see, we're on the same little wavelength or the same page when we're using the same objects. We're using eggs and butterflies, caterpillars, and the chrysalis as we go over our butterflies this week. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna count how many objects you see and then find the number and you can shade it in. So I'm gonna use crayons for this one since we're shading in. Let's see, I'm gonna use a pink for this one. So let's see, let's count one caterpillar plus one egg gives me two. Let's find the number two, two right here. That's the number three and that's the number one. So I'm just gonna shade in the number two. Two in all. Okay, let's look at the next one. I have one, two, three, four, and one more. So I could use my hands or I can just count these objects. One, two, three, four, and one more makes five. There we go, five all together. Let's look at the bottom one. I have two butterflies and three of our chrysalis. So let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five. Five is my sum, which means all together when I add them together. And we can flip it over like a pancake and we're gonna add these together as well. So let's look at the top one. I have two plus two, that's my number sentence, two plus two, and I have to figure out how many it equals when I add them together. So let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Here's my four. So I'm just gonna shade my four in. I'm so proud of you friends when you're doing these worksheets. It's practicing your math, which you will always need when you're in school. Adding and subtracting. Here we go. It helps you when you go to the store you're adding things together and trying to figure out how much money you need. Our next one is three plus one. So let's touch and count. One, two, three, and one more makes four. Oh, that's the same answer as the first one on this page. So if I was saying, is one bigger or one smaller or equal, you would say four and four are equal. Okay, let's look at the last one on this page. So I have four butterflies and three butterflies that are coming out of the chrysalis. So four plus two. Let's touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here's my number six right on top. My other numbers are five and four. And some of you are four in our class, are turning four soon. Some of you are five. And I bet there's a few friends that will be turning six soon. So you can practice those numbers so that you remember how old you are. So I'm gonna take this worksheet and put it to the side. And now I'm gonna show you a subtraction worksheet that you can practice at home as well. And it's very similar to the one we just did, except this one is subtraction. So subtraction means you're taking away. So you'll have objects like we have, three chrysalis, two butterflies, and then we're gonna take away. So if I have three, and I do it this way, I have three, and then I take away one, two, I have one left over. So I'm gonna shade in my one for how many I have left. Another way you could do a subtraction, friends, on this worksheet is you could actually cross them off. So if I have two butterflies and one egg on a leaf, I'm just gonna take away one from right here. So I'm just gonna cross off. So how many do I have left? I have one. One left over, just like that. On this one, I'm gonna use my hands to help me. So my fingers, here we go. So I have four, take away three. So if I have four, I take away three, that means four fingers are gonna go down. One, three fingers I mean, two, three. And I have one, my little pinky, one left. Four minus three, equals one. I know that when you saw this worksheet, you were like, mm, I don't know, some of us didn't maybe wanna do subtraction because we've been really practicing addition, but this is so good for you because, just like I was saying with the addition, you're, you're gonna be doing this at your house, be doing this at school, and if you can 
start practicing it now, you'll be more confident when you go back to school. So we have three, take away one. So I have three, take one away. I have two left over. So that's the correct answer would be two. Now let's look at the next one. I have four, take away two. So I'm gonna cross off two. One, two, three, four, cross off two. One and two, and then I have two left over. One, no, that wasn't the right answer. Three, two, two. The difference is two. Four take away two equals two. Our last one on this page is looking at these butterflies. And you can see these are the little chrysalis as well. And we're gonna start with the number five. And we have five fingers on our hand. So I'm gonna have five and take away two. So two fingers go down. One, two, which gives me three left over. So I'm gonna shade in my three right here. Alrighty, so that was our subtraction page. I'm gonna put this one to the side and now we're gonna do something different, friends. So on this page, you see a beautiful butterfly like we've been practicing and looking at the last few days. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut on the outside of this picture. So I'm just gonna start right here, my thumbs up and I'm just gonna cut straight on, you can go right next to your black line so that you still have the black line there. And I can take this and put it to the side. And then I'm gonna turn my paper. Same thing, I'm gonna do my thumbs up cutting. I'm just gonna go straight up just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the lines, friends, so we can make it into a little puzzle. And in order to make the puzzle, I'll tell you the secret once we're done cutting it. And then we're gonna keep cutting right along that black line. It's like when we draw our straight lines or pull down the shade and drive our car lines. It's the same thing we're doing with our scissors. And as you can see when I'm cutting, there's numbers that are right next to where I'm cutting. There you go. And we can just put this to the side. You can recycle that or you can use it to make something else. And now I'm gonna start cutting. So I'm gonna start cutting right on this line right here next to my one and two, and you might need to put it on the table to make it a little easier to cut. And I'm gonna cut out each section. Just like this. So not only are you cutting, which is really good for your fingers and your hands to help you have strength as you do different things, this also is gonna teach you how to put together these numbers in order from one to 10. And if you did not know, a butterfly has two antennas and they have wings. This butterfly has beautiful colors and it has some dots. So you're gonna lay out each one after you cut them. Right now I'm on number four. I already cut one, two, and three. Now number four. And when you lay them out, it's gonna make a perfect butterfly when you're all done, just like you saw when we started. There's number five. You can need to take a break halfway through if your hands get a little bit tired, that's okay. You can take a little break and come back to it when you're ready, just like you can with all the worksheets that I just went over. You can always come back when you're ready to start another worksheet. This is just showing you how to do each one so that you can do this independently, which means by yourself. It's funny when you read some of the butterfly books and you say the names, sometimes they sound funny. That was number six. Now I'm under number seven. And now I'm on number eight. We're almost there. 
And then number nine. And friends, I misspoke when I said 10. There's a number 11 at the end. So I'm on nine. What comes after nine? 10. Number 10. And then when I cut number 10, number 11 will be cut as well. They're right next to each other and that's the last one that we have. So what I'm gonna do now is after I'm done, I'm gonna put my scissors to the side and then I'm gonna mix them all up. Watch this. Whoa. Mix them all up and then I'm gonna put them back together. So I'm gonna lay them back out on my table, wherever you are working at home, and then we're gonna put them back in order. So let's see. If I'm counting how many days we were in school, or if I'm counting at home my toys, my Legos, my dolls, anything you wanna count at home, then I need to have the first number. Hmm, let me see. Oh, one. I need one first. Then number two. Two, okay. Number two goes here. Try to line them up. There we go. After two comes three. There we go. Some of us know that number well because that's how old we are right now. And then number four. That's not number four. Here's number four. So I'm trying my best to line them up so that it will come out as a butterfly when I'm all done. And you can do this with other things that you have at your house as well, friends. You can make your own little puzzle. I'm sure a lot of you like doing those at home. So good for your mind. You can work together with someone at home. So one, two, three, four. Here's number five. And number six. If I'm not sure if this is a six or a nine, I could see, hmm, this doesn't look like this would come next. So let's check and see. Six starts at the top. It curves around like a C, so that one's not it, because that one starts at the top as a little, like a little circle. So here's six. There we go, perfectly fits. I know that one's correct. After six comes seven. Counting up, or counting on. After seven comes eight. Here's the number eight. Whoa, we're almost there. Let's see, nine? Wow. All done. No, I still have these two over here. I have to put these in order. So let's see, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, and last but not least, I need to have my last one, is the number 11. Look at that, friends. So after you're done cutting, you can mix them up and then you lay them back out and put them in order from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and you make your own butterfly puzzle when you're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed making this butterfly with me and keep on working. We are so proud of your hard work that you're doing at home, friends.